Well, that's a pretty awesome view. Imagine living here. So this year, more than ever, all of us have been enjoying some camping, staying in the UK and really enjoying the greatness that it's got. Now, many of you who are into camping will have heard of Sea to Summit before. They make really cool, innovative bits of kit from like Delta Bowls and the X Mugs and the really famous X Kettle. And this year they've got into tents and what a great year to do it. Now, what I really like about their tents is they've not just done the same as everyone else. Oh, how light can you get it? Which pack's the smallest? They've made really light, really packable, but not the lightest and not the most packable, but innovative tents. There's some really neat little ideas here down to the packaging, what you do with the lights in there and the poles and everything. It just makes it a little bit interesting and something I want to talk to you about. So here outside, we've concentrated on two of their tents. So we do the Alto and the Telos. Now, both of these we do in the one man and the two man. What you'll realize is they do this in a standard or a plus form. Now, basically the plus is where it's at. For the UK, it's a much more UK tent. So what you can see next to me is the Telos 2, and this is the Alto TR Plus 1, one man tent. Now, the first thing you notice when you look at these tents is, look at the packaging. It's a bit bonkers, isn't it? But it's quite cool. Like everyone sort of knows, especially with two man tents, you don't really carry them in their normal bags they come in. So this makes life even easier than normal to split it. So, so I'm going to take that part, which is the fly, and then you can take the outer as well, separately. And then obviously poles and pegs separate as well. They all neatly collect together and sort of connect in, so you won't lose parts when you're storing them at home, but it just means you can split them. If you really want to strip the weights as well, you will leave the bags behind anyway, which I know many of you'll do. So firstly, I'll explain the difference between the Alto and the Telos. So, the Alto is really lightweight. The one man is only just over a kilogram and the two man is under two kilograms and closer to one and a half if you're stripping it. Now, the main difference is with the Telos is you get a little bit more weight, but you get quite a lot more comfort, more space, and you get a bit more versatility in what you can do with it. But we'll get to that in a minute. So when you see the two tents up, the main difference is at the front of both of them, there's a nice split pole, but at the back on the Altos, it's a single pole, whereas the Telos splits again into two. Now that just saves you the weight, but obviously cuts down on size inside it. Now, many people have done something like this in the past. And what's really cool is it looks like there's sort of five or six poles going on here, but they're all connected into one really clever little system using DAC poles, of course, the finest on the market. Now that makes it so easy to put up. I mean, I'm not the brightest, but I couldn't get this wrong. It's color coded holes and where to put them. You can actually put the outer up first if you want, but it's easy to put the inner up first. And it's so quick, I don't think it'd cause an issue anyway, especially with the fly having a little bit of water resistance too, if it was raining. So since it's up first, I'll tell you about the Telos. So the Telos is really quite a spacious tent. Like I say, for a two man tent, a little bit heavier this one, pushing two kilograms, sort of 1.8 for the two man, I think, or just under. Uh, again, can be stripped a bit. But I mean, I'm six foot four. I fit in there quite nicely. I could easily get you in here with me, Sam. Not that'd be very nice. Um, and yeah, we could have a comfortable night on there while carrying a really lightweight tent. But also it's got two generous porches, which is great. And this really clever tension ridge bar they put at the top, which I'll show you in a minute, really helps give you height inside the tent. So if you wanted to sit up, you can do so. And yeah, two doors and two porches just makes living so much more comfortable, especially if you've got big packs. So again, the difference between the plus and the standard is you get a higher level of waterproofing on the inner, on the base as well. So obviously this is UK, we've chosen this one, and you get a real, quite a nice height on it as well. So good bathtub on there. So like I mentioned before, they make lots of really cool things. So this is a really light spark and this is a really comfy ether light sort of roll mat. Anyway, they're amazing. We'll talk about that another time. The pillow even connects to the pad so it doesn't go off in the night. Anyway, talking about tents. Right, so anyway, nice and comfy there. I'm six foot four. As you can see, everyone knows I'm pretty tall. I've actually got quite a lot of space. I mean, I could put my arms out, wiggle my toes, not even touching. So happy with that. I can sit up pretty well. I'll talk about that in a minute. So yeah, really happy with the space and it could easily be mirrored here just to uh, show you that two people could get in quite comfortably, even when you're big like me. So like we're talking about, 
everything is thought about with Cetus Summit. So the bags that you normally just shove in your outside pocket when you've got the tent out of them, they thought about what to do with those. So they actually attach in the corners. So you've got extra pockets and they're quite good because you can seal them up. So if you do want something in there, just to feel like it's not going to fall out in the night, I don't know why it would, you can do so. And that happens on both sides. So I'm going to fit my really cool outside Nalgene in that pocket. It swallows it, it won't just disappear in the night. Probably my favorite coolest feature is the light bar. So again, where the poles should go, instead of just putting that bag in the corner, you can clip it to the roof. There's a little bit of card in there. Once you pop your head torch in, it basically makes a UV strip light inside your tent. So instead of just a spot, you've got a nice illuminated tent, real comfortable living. So the Telos with its two split poles that all connect together, they call freestanding because obviously it stands up on its own. There's no pegging actually needed. It just performs better when it is pegged. Uh, another cool thing that you get as well is this sort of little venting here. So these little poles in here, which fold away nicely, sort of give it a bit of structure. Now that makes it a bit of slope so water and snow can disperse, but also it means you can vent if you like. So in here is a little zip, which allows access into the tent. Now that means a lot of airflow, especially once it's coming up from underneath uh, and then you can breathe really well, but you can still be protected from the midges, of course, by being inside the inner. So it might be a bit windy to show you this, but this is shelter mode. So basically there's these two little clever little prongs in the end here. So you take the inner out, you can prop the whole tent up. Now, obviously, if you had all the guy lines and the time to put them out, this would actually work in this wind and you'd guy out the sides as well and down the front and I could actually let go. Now, this is really useful, obviously, if you're just sitting out in the rain, if you're fishing, as I say, or drinking beers with your pals. Obviously, if it was sunny, it could be a bit of shelter, but it's quite clever. So, as ever, you can buy nice, lightweight extra poles from Sea to Summit, which are like this, but it will work with your walking poles, which if you're lightweight backpacking, in reality, you're probably going to have with you. And then once you tie the guy on and peg it down, what a lovely little space to sit under in the rain. So when putting up all Sea to Summit tents, this is really important to remember. So a lot of people will instantly try and put the tent up like this. Now the whole point is that this little attachment goes on here. So make sure you flip the tension ridge around and clip it in nicely. After that, it, it's all fairly obvious. It just falls into place and you know what you're doing. Like I said before, everything's color coded. So even people like me don't get it wrong. There's a green one of these, there's a gray one of those. Same with where the pegs go as well. So again, tension ridge, giving us that little bit of height, even in a lightweight one-man tent. This clever little kink they've got in the bar here really just helps, again, give you that extra little space that you won't get from many one-man tents, especially of this weight. So like you can see with the Alto, this is the Alto 1, it is quite a lot smaller than the Telos. And that's its whole point, it's much lighter. This is sort of a single man tent you're gonna take on your own. Also, you will find it really relies a bit more on pegging. So this is called semi-freestanding because it will sort of, it won't just fall straight over, but it doesn't really stand up quite right without pegging, but that's reflected in the weight again. So to get the best of this tent, you really do wanna use the pegging just to get this sort of space out. So like I said, see something that thought of everything, a minute ago it was all pinging off for me and I realised because I put it the wrong way around. We've got little ridges so this little bit of string won't slide off like it did a minute ago. So like I've said, everything with Seed Summit is really satisfying. You can see how that nicely clicks in there, tension it to the really good peg you've got. This little clip then slides on sideways and twists on. Really neat. Again, you can tension it down nicely to get the torsion sort of just right in your tent, just however you need it. Click that onto that end and this one sits nicely on there. Put a bit of tension into it to really get it nice and tall. So here we are, the Alto TR1 Plus. It's up, it's got really good headroom again, as you can see. Uh, let's see how the length is. Oh. Again, really good actually, lots of space. You can put the light bar in, I haven't clipped it on just yet. But considering it's so light, I'm really quite impressed with how much room I've got. Obviously it's fairly narrow, but it is a one-man tent. What I do like with a lot of the modern tents as well is the fact that you get out on your side. That makes, if you're cooking in this fairly substantial sized porch, you've got a lot of space to do it. Or again, just to leave your bag there. But coming in at around a kilogram, you've got quite a lot of tent for your money there. You can see above me, all the areas that you can vent it. And with that sort of little roof canopy I showed you on the outside of the Telos, 
Just means you can get a good bit of air blowing through, especially if you've got to shut it all up because it's midgy, which is basically whenever I go camping. So a couple of things I really wanted to mention. So our actual stock of the Telos hasn't arrived yet, but it's on its way, hopefully by the time you've seen this video. So this is actually a sample version of the standard Telos. This inner that you see here, which is just all mesh, is not what we'll be stocking. This is not great for the UK. So the inner you saw the Alto earlier is how the inner will be of this. So much more weatherproof and yeah, not as meshy. The other thing I wanted to mention as well is these are not particularly mountain tents. I know we are outside, it's, an out, it's a mountain heritage and we spend most of our time in the mountains, but this is more three seasons. So lightweight backpacking, very car camping, or even, you know, sort of uh, bike packing. So everyone will really like that for the pack size convenience and sort of really quite luxurious, lightweight camping. I mean, space, comfort, low weight, what's not to like? So anyway, well done Seed Summit. Really cool, new, innovative tent with lots of brilliant features. I reckon there's loads more I've forgotten to mention, but there's so many, I can't think of them all. Anyway, particularly comfy, lovely, lightweight camping. So I'm off to bed. See you later.